Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I'll be sharing few different recipes which I recorded but didn't get chance to share with you guys. So first we're gonna start with the fire roasted salsa. Now this salsa, of course, you can serve it with the chips. If not, if you are making Mexican food, it can be used as a sauce also. So first here in a pan, taking some tomatillos, that is the green tomatoes. Adding some cherry tomato, garlic, salt and pepper, drizzle some olive oil, mix it well. Also here I'm adding some onions as well as the poblano pepper. We're going to roast this on 450 degrees and within just a few minutes you will see that uh, it's getting cooked. So I'm just going to flip the pepper, keep it in there for another 5 minutes or so and then we do want to peel the skin from the peppers and once that is done I'm gonna transfer all this into the blender we'll add some cilantro in it just blend it and that's about it now winter is coming that means we won't have the farmers market and definitely I'm gonna miss going there buying all those fresh vegetables and that is another reason I'm making this salsa so in winter whenever I want to make the Mexican food at least my sauce is ready and it's something about making homemade sauce than buying from store so definitely try this you can freeze it and whenever you want to use it you can just defrost it now before I have shared many more Mexican recipes I'm gonna link those video down below in the description box they all are really good but my most favorite one is the Mexican bear since Diwali is coming, if you do want to wow your guests, definitely highly, highly recommend that try that Mexican bear recipe. Again, I'm going to link it down below in the description box. That is so awesome. Whoever has tried that recipe, they all have loved it. Doesn't matter, the young adult, everyone loved that recipe. Next recipe is chila using the waffle maker. Now this is the easiest way to make chila, especially in the morning. It's a rush hour for all of us. And traditionally when we make chila, we have to maintain the temperature, make sure it gets cooked properly. But if you make it in a waffle maker, no worries. You just put the batter in there and let the machine do the job and the chila will be nice and crispy. So for that, I'm taking one cup of basin. Now you can make this batter, keep it overnight in the fridge also. Also adding some chopped onions as well as the green chilies. Now if you're not a fan of this, no worries, you can skip it. But you know me, I like my food spicy, so I'm adding some extra green chilies and of course the onion too. Also adding some chopped uh, spinach. Instead of spinach, you can use methi leaves. And here I'm adding some garlic chutney. Now this is the store-bought chutney. I bought it from uh, Patel Brothers and highly, highly recommend. It's really tasty and very nice. Also adding some oil in there and salt as well as you do want to add pinch of king as well as the turmeric if you want it. If not, no need to add it because I didn't add it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. After that, you just add some water mix very well make sure there is no lumps in it now in my case i was making this in the morning that's why i had to keep my batter on the side for at least about 10 minutes or so so that way that there is no lumps in it and that's why i say that if you keep this uh, in fridge um, so that way the morning you know you don't have to wait that 10 minutes but other than that that's it i mean you just need a little bit oil in there as you saw i didn't add much at all in there and you do want to grease the waffle maker with either the butter or the oil make sure you know so that way the chila won't stick to it and that's it you just add the batter in there close it let the machine do all the job and it comes out so crispy so you can serve this as a breakfast if not actually it is a perfect for school lunch too because sometimes I make this for audience school lunch and uh, I pack chutney to go with it. He gets only 20 minutes for lunch. So he wants something quick which he can eat. So this is perfect for that and it stays crispy for a very long time. It's a protein pack lunch and it's so versatile. You can add any vegetables that you like. So when I pack for lunch, I basically wrap this in the paper napkin and then put it in the container. So that way it doesn't get soggy, it stays crispy and it's so quick also, right? Because in the morning, as I mentioned, it's like a rush hour for all of us. So if the batter is ready, it doesn't take that long to make it. 
And here, actually, I was serving with the achar. So, of course, as I mentioned, you can serve this with the chutney also. If not, simply if you just enjoy this by itself with just a cup of chai, it tastes really good. And our next one is the veggie cutlet waffle. This one is my most favorite one. And wait until you see the recipe because all we need is a tablespoon oil to make this. Traditionally, when we make the cutlet, we use a lot of oil, but once this oil is hot enough, I'm adding a pinch of egg, that is the asa patita. Next, I'm adding some chopped green chilies as well as the ginger. Let that saute just for a few seconds or so, and next, we're gonna add some chopped carrot. I roughly chop them in the chopper, and we don't need to let this cook completely, so just for about, I would say, a minute or so should be good enough. Because the reason we want to do this is so that way there is no any raw flavor in it. And also I'm adding some chopped green peas. Again, I just roughly chop them in the chopper. And we'll just go ahead and add some salt in it. And that's about it. So that's all we'll do it with this. And here I have about three or four medium-sized potato, which I boil them. So either you can grate them, if not, you can just roughly chop them. And now I'm going to add this carrot and peas mixture into this. Highly recommend this recipe, especially now Diwali is just around the corner. So you can keep this mixture ready and whenever guests arrive, you can make this in no time. And who doesn't like cutlet, right? So here also I'm adding haldi powder as well as the amchur powder, that is the dry mango powder as well as the chaat masala. Now chaat masala do have salt, so you can adjust it according to that. Also adding red chili powder, and if you don't want it, you can skip that, uh, since we already have the green chilies in there. Also adding some dhania jeera powder, that is the coriander cumin powder. Mix everything very well. Also adding pinch of sugar in there, the reason we want to add it, so it can balance all this flavor out. Now, the one thing that I did not add is that either you can add fresh breadcrumbs in here. If not, you can always add some cornstarch. We do definitely want either of those ingredients to make this cutlet more crispy. The reason I did not add it is because my husband was going to eat this and he eat gluten-free. So that's the reason I did not add those two. But you can definitely do want to add either the fresh breadcrumbs if not the cornstarch also at the last i'm adding kasuri methi that is the dry fenugreek leaves do not skip that guys that is gonna change the entire flavor of this cutlet it's gonna give really good aroma as well as of course the flavor so do not skip that at all and here i just grease the waffle maker with a little bit of ghee and that's it. You just want to go ahead and spread that here. Um, now, it was a little bit difficult for me to flip this since there was no any cornstarch or the breadcrumbs in there. But if you make it with that, either of the ingredients, it will definitely will be easy to make as well as you. it's going to be very crispy. Now, mine, as you can see, definitely it came out crispy. But it just in the beginning, I had a hard time flipping it because as I mentioned, there is no any other particular binding in there. So give this recipe a try and I guarantee you that it's gonna taste really good. So here I'm serving that with the chutney and this chutney also again, highly recommend. It is from Swad. It's a mango hot and tangy chutney. I bought it from Patel Brothers. It, is, it tastes really good. So that's it. Our cutlet waffle is ready. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And I'm so sorry, guys. Lately, my schedule is all over the place because uh, I do have the training going on right now. So I do have the training for the next two weeks, and that's why you haven't seen many videos. Um, so I'm so sorry about that. But definitely, I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.